Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name is Grav Shark, and this is going to be episode three of our playthrough in Mountain Blade Warbands overhaul called The Last Days of the Third Age. This is a big Lord of the Rings overhaul, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, in the first two episodes, we started getting our forces together. We are joining up with Gondor, and we're going to try to push back against Mordor's forces when the war for Middle Earth begins. And at the end of episode two, that war actually did begin. We got a really cool cutscene and cinematic and stuff like that. If you did miss that, go back to episode two and watch it. It's a pretty cool little cutscene they've put into this really old game <laughs> with an awesome mod. So definitely go check that out. But we are going to get started today. We're probably going to have a little bit less of the general questing and stuff like that, sort of that more boring stuff. Um, in the video, I'll be doing that, but just not recording it. Um, you, this episode will focus a little more on sort of the more exciting bits like battles and, and things like that and cooler stuff. So without further ado, guys, let's get going. All right, so we are officially starting our involvement in the war. We found a, a Mordor prisoner train, and we are pretty outnumbered here, but we should be able to take care of them just fine. Um, it, they have mostly low-tier orc units and stuff like that, which we should be able to wipe out pretty handily. So. Benethor and his rabble from Gondor is upon us. Double rations to the one bringing me the most manheads. I don't know, my friend. <laughs> We're going to get him instead. All right, let's have everybody just follow us. Let's see where they're coming from first. See, what I like in Banner Lord that we don't have here is I can press Alt to figure out where the enemy's coming from. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Banner Lord lately over there on Twitch. Let's have the infantry form a line up here. And then we'll have the cavalry just follow me. Do we have any archers? Yeah, okay. God, my brain is so tuned into Banner Lord controls right now. Okay, let's actually send them forward a bit. It looks like they're kind of turtling a bit, so we want to get get our guys moving in. We're going to let our archers kind of stay back there. Let's have us start moving in with our cavalry and see if we can bust up some of their line a bit here. Ow! Oh man, we died. <laughs> Alright, let's watch, see how we do. I see a lot of good uh, kills in the feed down there. Some of our guys are definitely getting hurt, um, but like I thought, we're definitely out. We're, we were way outnumbered, but they are really weak orc units, so our guys are doing pretty good here. Yeah, this is kind of a blowout. See, a lot of our guys that are going down, luckily, are just getting wounded and not actually killed because we have that one. Um, I think it's medicine or first aid skill, whatever it's called. Uh, leveled up pretty pretty good here. Look at this one guy going in here <laughs> and killing so many of their archers. Look at him. Oh, see, now they're running. Nice. There we go. And what's nice is um, these little skirmishes and stuff we're going to get into are going to increase our faction strength and decrease Mordor's. So the more we can do that, the better. And we're going to do that with caravans and supply runs and war parties and other fun stuff like that, which should arm the tides of the war. All right, boys, that's going to do it for this fight. Let's see what we get in just a moment. So it looks like total we got, we lost six, nine are wounded. That's fine. Um, we are wounded, so we're going to have to give, give us some time to get healed up and that kind of stuff. Um, 31 troops fit for battle against their 10. I'm just going to simulate that one nice and quick. Against their seven. Yeah, we lost a few there. That's okay. Okay. And what do we get down here? We got rank points and influence. Hell yeah. And we got some soldiers ready to upgrade. So who is that? So now, uh, our Gondor Watchmen. Uh, we probably want to send... Let's send them down Bowman. Yeah, we don't have enough of those, really. And then we'll send these guys all up to Squire. Most of these guys are just single-choice situations here. Not a lot of thought. Squire, we definitely want. Uh, Squire, we're going to get you all up to... Riders, yeah, definitely. And that should be good there. Now let's check our faction strength too. So faction strength. So right now, all the obvious factions are up where they you would expect them to be. Um, Moria is strong. Um, Isengard is strong. Mordor is strong. Rohan and Gondor and Erebor. So hopefully with enough um, of these taking out war parties and caravans and prisoner releases and things like that, we'll be able to, um, you know, get get... The Mordor and Isengard down and Gondor and Rohan up because Gondor and Rohan are kind of like the front lines, if you will, based on where they are on the map. So 
Hopefully that'll get us uh, up there pretty quickly. And we want to get our influence up quite a bit too, because that's going to get us better resource point income as well. And that'll help us stay uh, essentially self-sufficient in terms of resource points. Now we did lose some units in that fight. So why don't we go ahead and see if we can get some recruiting done. Uh, let's see who we have here at West as Gilead. Uh, levies and watchmen. I don't know if we want to mess with them. Let's go back to Minas Tirith. We should have some supplies we can deliver to Minas Tirith as well. Yeah, yeah, there was a um, quest that we had that uh, wasn't going to work out. Fire we definitely want. That's some cavalry. Bowmen we like. Footmen are good. Watchmen are decent. And we'll take levies. You know what? That's fine. We need to go talk to the guild master because we've got some supplies for him. There we go. Got some rain points and influence. All right, Gondor gained faction strength. So the more quests we do, the more fights we get into, that'll increase faction strength and, and influence and all that kind of stuff, which is definitely what we want to see. All right, so we've got a supply train here that we probably want to take out. And um, again, we're outnumbered here, but um, looking at their unit outcomes, we this is a lot of cannon fodder that we can take out pretty handily. So why don't we go and see if we can pop them off real quick. And we actually got some people to join on our side. We had our, our friendlies that were close enough to help us out with this. So it should be even easier than it would otherwise be. And we are going to still be a little hurt ourselves. Uh, but that should be fine. Let's have the cavalry follow us. Archers follow us for now. We're going to tell the archers what to do momentarily. I just want them to kind of get moving a little bit here. We really don't have that many regular infantry, do we? We don't have that big of a party in general. Where are they all heading? No eyes on the enemy yet. Our infantry seem to think they're close this direction. Why don't I get the infantry to chill right here for a minute? So they can all collect and get in a nice formation because they're kind of just scattered right now. The archers are already taking pot shots at something. They must be just over that hill. Get our infantry to bunch up a bit more. Nice little shield wall of some kind, at least. <laughs> Have our archers stay back, maybe stay on the high ground a little bit. All right, infantry, I want you to move up. All right, cavalry. Let's just have a cavalry charge. They don't quite stay in formation as good as they do in Banner Lord, do they? That's okay. A lot of good kills on the feed there. I don't think we've lost a single unit. Oh yeah. Oh, they got me again. <laughs> yeah, this is what we do when we don't get healed before fights. That's okay. I think that should be it. The, one of the last guys killed me. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we only got one, one killed, one wounded. Okay. I'm probably the one that got wounded myself. Sort that all out. So we earned some rank points and influence. Hell yeah. And we got some party upgrades. What do we got? So we got some squires that can go up. Uh, we got some bowmen that can go up. And we'll definitely get regular there. Under levy, you'll go up to watchmen. I think we need some more infantry. So we're going to take the current levy and watchmen up through footman and maybe up to guard of the fountain court i'm not sure what their weaponry is like but i kind of get the feeling that they're going to be a little oh so they might be spearmen okay so if we want regular swordsmen we probably want tower guard that's right okay all right so that's their stuff um let's check the faction strength if that changed at all now nah, it's going to take some time i think before we start seeing movement in the faction strength but that was a good fight all right, so we have a supply fight over here. Let's go defend our guys and see if we can help out. Our 64 to their 20. Yeah, this will be easy. We're just going to have everybody charge. And we're back at full health, too, so we shouldn't uh, <laughs> be real squishy and die too quickly, at least. Did 
of that. Another couch kill. Problem is, um, I'm used to Banner Lord where you can kind of charge through and knock enemies over with your horse, so I gotta, gotta retrain my brain right now for this. I think that's most of them. Yeah, that's it. I don't think we lost a single unit. You're welcome, Captain Alithian Rangers. I got us some uh, faction points and stuff like that. Nice. Okay, we got some upgrades as well. Definitely upgrade some of these guys. We'll take them down footmen. You guys will keep going down that way. All right. Now let's check and see if we have any upgrades. No, we do not. Okay. All right, so we've got another supply train to bust up. They're attacking some of our guys, so let's go help out the fight. Go in with our cavalry and bust them up some. And there's also AI with us, too. Go get them, guys. Let me uh, let me reset here for my, my charge. See if I can get a couch kill or two. Oh, I killed my freaking couch. Block. We're getting damage, we're just not getting killing hits. This is a pretty shitty spear. And this is also really weird terrain to try to get big lance couching charges going. We lost one veteran squire, it looks like. We earned some rank points, love it. Some stuff to sell. Got some upgrades. And good to go. Okay. Oh, look at that. The might of Mordor has diminished. Mordor is now average. Forces of Gondor have rallied. Gondor is now quite strong. Look at that, guys. Already helping. Let's go look at the full report here. Quite strong for Gondor. We'd love to see it. Mordor is average. So we keep busting up those supply lines. We'll, we'll keep messing them up and making them... Oh! That's not good. I thought that was an ally. Uh... <laughs> shit. Uh, pull back, leaving some soldiers behind to cover your retreat. We kind of have to, or else we're all going to die. Um, that is unfortunate. 19 soldiers behind to stop the enemy. That is a lot of soldiers. But, unfortunately, it was necessary. There's no way we come out of that fight alive. We lost some party morale, but we already had pretty high morale from the last few fights, so we should be fine. All right, let's see if we can recruit <laughs> to fill the gap there. Uh, yeah. That sucks. I wonder which units that was, if they were like high rank or not. That's another thing, is I gotta be a lot careful with moving around the map. I'm a little too fast and loose. Oh, it looks like Losnark has been raided. Ooh, they're pretty strong too, that party. We really can't touch them. Okay, so they didn't finish raiding it. That's good. They got distracted by the caravan. We're not quite strong enough to deal with that ourselves, unfortunately. Alright, we took in some infantry there, so hopefully that'll make us a bit more of a well-rounded party. I want our big war parties that are all in here to pop out and hit this one. What is their party looking like? See, their party's actually pretty decent. Um, they got a lot of regular units. They're not just like cannon fodder type orcs. So, um, unless another party comes out and helps that, we can't we can't touch that right now. We'll we'll completely die. Now, there's a bunch of our friendly war parties f traveling around together, but not out of here, or else they would have popped out of Minas Tirith to attack that. Hopefully they pop out of here and we can jump in with that fight. They're coming after me, I believe. Yeah. Ooh, an Isengard Lord was just defeated in battle. That's good. I'm hoping one of our warp... Oh, that's that's Gandalf. Dude, it's Gandalf. <laughs> He's so fast, though. We cannot catch up to him and talk to him again. Here's a couple here. There are two supply trains. That's a lot of enemies, though. If we can catch them before they get to Minas Morgul. No, darn. Right, what do we got here? Prisoner train. A lot of orcs. Uh, this is a bit risky. That's a big one, but we should be able to do it. Get the infantry to move up. Archers, you hold here. Cavalry, I'm going to have you hold over there for a minute. All right, let's have infantry get a little closer to each other. It's schmucks. Let's scout ahead a little. Yeah, there's the archers at least. Okay. Let's get the cavalry on me, and we'll go bust up that archer line a little bit. Leave our infantry and archers 
back. I want to goat them into attacking us if we can. down in time. Just try to get all the archers before their main infantry gets up here. The way we can goat them back to our um, advantage, advantageous position. And I think we will be getting them to come over that hill, which is good. Oh, we're stuck on our own infantry line. Are you guys dumb? What are you doing? Alright, infantry, I guess move up like a couple steps to de-stupidify those cavalry, please. <laughs> okay, what are they doing here? Cavalry, come with me. Let's kill these ones over here. Got the infantry charging. Let's actually have the cavalry just charge as well. They're not really, they're kind of spread out a little too much for us to get too crazy with it. There's a level for us, that'll be good. That might get us enough um, charm to bump over into bumping our leadership up a bit so we can get more units. Hey now, hey now, don't touch my archers. Get off my horse! I can't get off! My right, infantry's coming up to help, so that's good. That was my kill. Rude. Alright, they're all running. It was a good fight. We lost a couple. I know a few were wounded, though, so hopefully not too many were actually dead. We gotta try to kill all of them if we can. them to split off if we can avoid it and we got one gonna run away here two if we can get him before he gets off the map I don't know where the edge of the map is bad hit Okay. Should that be all of them? I think it should be all of them, right? Yeah. There we go. We actually lost five. Uh, seven were wounded, though, so that's good. Not too many. Uh, and they had some prisoners, so we'll definitely take those to replenish some of our own troops that were lost. We're already back up to full strength almost, and we're going to do some upgrades while we're here. Upgrade some of our bowmen, our, our cavalry. Ooh, Lancer of Rohan. Those are really good. <laughs> the Riders of Rohan, I think we send them all at the Lancer tree because those are really good for charges. Okay. We'll take all this. We need to go sell off some stuff, don't we? I don't know if we'll actually be able to carry all this. Eh, we got it all. Okay. Did we get some new upgrades? We did. Wow. Even just in the, the couple little seconds there. Okay. That's good there. So we have some upgrades as well. If we get an extra charisma point, does that let us bump up leadership? It does. Look at that. So we should be able to have more party members, which is awesome. Exactly how many is that? Almost six more. It's not a lot, but any little bit helps. Let's see if we can take out some more caravans or raiders or something. Oh, here we go. Here's some Mordor raiders. Are they actually faster than us? I have, I have like cavalry. How are they faster? Great. Fine. Okay. They stopped them. Good. Let's go up. 57 to 32. Now, their, their units are a little stronger than normal orcs, but we should still be able to handle this no problem. We might lose a couple. Yeah, we have a lot more regular infantry now. I like that. Some of them are the low-tier guys from Rohan that will eventually become cavalry, though, so... The archers are already taking pot shots. I wonder what at exactly. Oh. <laughs> Some of the infantry units are still classified as infantry, even though one or two of them are actually on a horse. That's funny. Is there any dismount that I can attach to the infantry? Can I get them off their horse? 
Infantry dismount. He's not even dismounting. <laughs> Come on, man. You're killing me. So are they just not going to attack? So, uh, we might move our archers over to this hill. It might be a bit more appropriate. Unless they're going to start charging. Let's see. I like how they're still shooting while they're moving. I bet their accuracy is much worse. At least I hope it is. I don't think we're going to goat them into coming downhill. Because they definitely have good high ground right now. And like I said, we're this is going to be a pretty easy fight. I'm only kind of getting a little detail with the tactics here. Just so we can try to minimize our losses. Which is always good to do. Again, infantry dismount, dude. Those guys won't even get off, but they're still caught in the infantry cavalry unit. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's just have them charge, I suppose. If, the, if they're not going to push down the hill, we're not going to sit around and wait. Well, let's have cavalry just charge in as well. We're not going to be able to do a lot of good, like, lance couching or those kinds of things, but... sworn they had way more units than this. Where are they? Poor oh, Minas Tirith. <laughs> he didn't sound very enthused, did he? Oh my gosh, I was going to say, is there one left, like, straggler somewhere? No, I don't want to retreat. Now we're good. Okay. Uh, allied casualties, actually none. Our only fallen were wounded, so that's good. That's our medicine skill coming into play there. All right, so we got some points there. I doubt we'll be able to take all of this. We already can't. So let me just swap this out for something like that. We do need to go sell. And so we got some faction points and a lot of fun stuff. So let's do some upgrades. Get these guys up. Bowman of Gondor. Get those guys down the footman tree. Veteran Squire. Oh, that's for Gondor. Right, right. I was going to say. Okay, Rohan Youth. You need to be a Squire. We're going to make you guys Lancers. All right, we've got a decent fight here. Um... Mordor Raiders, though, so a little bit stronger than normal orcs we've been fighting. We'll go ahead and go help out our, our guys here. So us versus them, it's pretty even strength, although I do think this will be a relatively easy fight again. Because um, we've got some decent units already, so let's, uh, if I can get out of my damn infantry mosh pit here. Let's find out where they are before we start moving people around. There they are, okay. Let's see if we can get them to give us the high ground advantage. So let's put our infantry here. Our archers here. Cavalry, we're going to put you over there for now. Come on, guys. God, the archers are fast. <laughs> Look at them. Look at you guys trying your best. I love the modeling on this stuff, like the tree of Minas Tirith and their shields and all that. Ah, oh, so lovely. What in the world are these guys doing here? I thought I told you guys to go much further down the hill. What are you doing? Uh, they're turtling the high ground again, I think. The AI is decently smart. Um, they're holding high ground on purpose, which is nice to see. From like a immersion perspective, I, at least. Um, <laughs> I don't like it from a playing perspective because it means I got to push up and lose the high ground, but let's see. Let's go ahead and have infantry squeeze together a little bit. I swear to God, you guys got to get off your horses. F6, dismount. Or nerds. Okay. Um, okay, they might be pushing. It's hard to say. They're definitely moving. Your enemies are fleeing from battle? Why? We haven't even started fighting them. Well, hopefully our archers can soften them up a bit before they get over here. I do think they're going to move in. Hard to say exactly, because I don't have any frame of reference for how close they are. Looks like their infantry is probably about to start pushing. No, it is definitely not. Okay. 
Let's have our infantry move in. I'm going to have our archers move up here. Yeah, our archers are definitely softening them up already. I don't know if those archers are going to get over here really in time to participate much. <laughs> but we'll see. There goes our infantry. Okay. All right, let's move in, Cap. Let's go. Oh, I lost the couch. Ah! Missed every every single attempt. <laughs> Man, I keep missing these shots. The hitbox is weird in this one. I'm so used to Bannerlord. Yeah! Good job. Anything we can do to reduce Mordor faction strength and Isengard faction strength, we're going to be doing. Even all, all these old skirmishes like this. We didn't even lose a single unit or even get any wounded. Um, so we have some left over. Um, let's go ahead and just simulate this one. 61 to 23. We lost two. 59 to 11. Didn't lose any. Nice. We've been promoted to Tower Guard of Gondor. Look at that. All right, let's replace some of these lower scraps. I know that we're pretty much full, so we got to kind of make do with the space we have. These will just sell for more, so we'll replace them for that. Okay. The forces of Gondor have rallied. Gondor is now quite strong. That's damn right. All right, let's sell off all our junk. When I get high enough rank, I can actually talk to these like leaders and stuff and say like, hey, let's go raid a specific place. Uh, other than that, I have to kind of join their raids, uh, which isn't which isn't bad. Yeah, let's go see if we can find some more supply lines or something. We want to weaken them quite a bit because um, that'll make capturing their territories and things like that a lot easier. Let's go check out the Black Gate of Mordor. Oh, here we go. There's a supply train. Let's go get it. We should be able to catch it. Oh, yeah, easy. It had a bit head, big head start on us, but it, we are a lot faster than it on the map, so... Let's get it. Okay. 54 to there, 56, but it should be pretty easy. Uruk of Bordor. Let's get him, boys. Ooh, much more open field. This is nice. I like this. Um, let's see. Just over this hill, we'll probably see where they're coming from. Surely. Once again, we play the where the hell are these guys game. Uh, okay, they're all over there. Okay, so infantry, you come up here. Tree, maybe sitting right there. Archers, you can come right here. Cavalry, we'll put you over there for now. It's gonna take them a minute to get here. I think what we'll do, because they're kind of still holding a high ground, it's gonna be a little hard to get good cavalry charges in. Um, archers are positioned pretty perfectly. Um, let's get the infantry in a nice wall and then move them up. I'll have you guys stand closer. And then let's have you move up. All right, cavalry. Let's have you charge. Ah! I keep getting stuck because my stupid infantry are behind me. <laughs> I think we lost one early on in that engagement before we had the rush. He's not gonna let any of them run away. I like the guys that are like min as dear. <laughs> it's like so unenthused. I love it. Alright, so yeah, we lost one. Only two are wounded though, so that's not too bad. We got some XP, got some party morale. We'd love it all. Hey, okay, let's just start upgrading pretty much everybody uh, as much as we can. Watch them. We're definitely gonna send you guys down footmen. Yes. Uh, the Squire, you guys can go do this. Lancer, absolutely. Take Swordsman there. Youth, you guys will go up Squire. Hell yeah. Okay. Nice. We're a little far away from home, aren't we? Uh, let's kind of get out of the heart of enemy territory. Um, there's a big war party. Now, that's an interesting fight because there's a standard bear. I think he provides some kind of... Um, you know benefit to the the enemies nearby and then there's the, the larger Urux and then um lots of archers and lots of cannon fodder type orc we can probably win that fight uh it's a bit risky though um although it would be a huge boon to faction strength stuff so let's do it okay now this is gonna be a tough fight but i think we can do it 
So, let's get our infantry up here. Archers back here. Cavalry, I'll put you over there for now. We're going to see if we can get them to come to us. I think they will. I kind of wish we had more archers, though. Oh, there's a Nazgul. This isn't good. I don't like that. One of our, our Lancer just died. The Nazgul. There's no animation for it, but the Nazgul did just kill our Lancer. God damn it. <laughs> right after we just upgraded him. Maybe we move the infantry up. Archers. We'll move you guys up to that little hill right there. So they're going to have their archer line move up. Then their infantry line is going to start popping off soon. Let's actually put our archers here. Cavalry, you come with me. So our infantry is going to do some some good work here. Uh, but we got to be start getting some work done ourselves. Oh, that killed my lance. No, no, stop it. <laughs> Goddamn Nazgul. All right, I got one. Yeah, I see a lot of good kills in the feed. That's good. We want a lot of those. We are really outnumbered. Yeah, I see more kills than deaths. Dude, we really need that. The Nazgul are really messing me up here. Missed. Completely missed. Ah! <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying to kill orcs. Where are you guys going? My troops flee in terror. That's not good. We got this. Turn around. Fight. Where did all our guys go? Did we lose a lot of them? I saw way more kills in the feed than deaths. I guess a lot of them just ran away. Glory yeah, a lot of them just ran because the Nazgul. Oh, that's unfortunate. We should probably just uh, retreat. Whoever we have left. See, I don't know what the mechanics are going to be like uh, if we actually kept some of these units. Seventeen killed. Oh my lord! We need to run, disengage. The Nazgul really messed us up on that one. So maybe uh, when we're in the lands of Mordor over here, we got to be a little more careful about fights we take. So we, we flew a little too close to the sun, didn't we? Okay, let's head back and re-recruit some units here. We can't really do much as far as rating is concerned. Like I said, we need to have higher ranks ourselves. And um, we don't quite have that yet. Look, it's the Eye of Sauron, guys. It's over there. It sees us. Hmm. Okay, we got a battle here. We got some raiders over here at the West Osgiliath fight. We'll help out. That's going to be a blowout. Oh, yeah. Easy. Let's just simulate it. It's done. We helped. We really participated. <laughs> so we got some uh, morale and XP and stuff like that. It's not bad. No upgrades. Oh, we got a couple. Get some squires going. Want to get our lancers going as quickly as possible. Those are so, so good for big cavalry charges. Messenger arrived reporting that Emin Aaron Sentry has been besieged by Faramir of Gondor. Oh, where are you going, dude? Come back. Let's help. I'll help you. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. I was going to help. Oh, no. Okay, so they just sent somebody out there and wants to fight us. So 58 to their 94. Uh, we almost certainly lose because that's a captain's host. That's not just a random orc party. Um, so we're going to have to pull back. We're going to lose some units. Potentially nine we're going to lose. We lose. We're going to get uh, in trouble for ditching, I think. Because they'll know. Like the lords that we're allied with, they're going to know that we've like abandoned our troops and stuff. They're not going to be happy. They'll call us out for it. We need nine more. Yeah, we got we got nine here. Not quite the nine that I wanted. Um, we do have a lot of Gondor or Rohan youth, and so and, and riders of Rohan and stuff. So that'll actually help us get down the the cavalry trees that we like. And we'll have Gondor footmen and a mix of other footmen as well. Um, ooh, I see I see some stuff we can get involved with over here. Let's see what these guys end up doing. Um, they're gonna go to that fight and probably that party as well. 
Yeah, that's a super lopsided fight. Even with us joining in on that, that's there's no way. There's no way. Cause that's like a, a full orc party. And there's even a troll, so um that would be a very bad fight to jump in with, and we would absolutely lose. Hope our war parties come back up. Help out. So he's going back to looks like Minas Morgul. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, supply train is attacking some of our guys. Because the problem is they're going to join in. Yeah, we got to get out of that. That's not something we want to touch. Get off of me. These guys really want me, don't they? Go hide out in Minas Tirith. Check our resource points. We will, we just lost 613 for Gondor, but we have 1,800. So we're actually doing pretty good as far as that's concerned. Might of Gondor is diminished. I don't like that. We're only strong now. We're not like super strong. I want to see... Are they even going to catch up and get this fight started in the first place? Um, let's see. They're definitely chasing him down. Oh, this is interesting. Some Mordor parties here as well. Let's jump in on this. Oh, there's going to be a big battle here. 657. To all of those. <laughs> this is going to be a big fight. Woo! Several war parties. Big ones. Big ones. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so it says 688 to their 95. Um, but I do think those other ones are going to jump in after too long. I don't want to use my influence to command the armies of our friendlies. So we're just going to participate in our own way as well. Um, and most likely they're... Oh my lord. Most likely we're going to have um, the enemies that were nearby also jump in the fight as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is a lot. Everybody just charge. We're using a warband mod that unlocks bigger battle sizes, so it, it, the game's struggling a little. <laughs> it's definitely struggling. That's okay. Maybe I reduce that a little bit just so we can uh, have a little bit better performance here during these big battles. The engine is not built to handle this on this older game. Bannerlord can handle, I think, up to 1,000 without mods, like 2,000 with mods. Just fine. Oh, there's... There's at least one troll. There's some warg riders as well. Um, with this lag, though, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much, personally. Got one. There's a standard bearer. There's a lot more kills than deaths down there for friendlies. Look at this mass, dude. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> Look at all that, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, standard bearers down. I think they're down to the trolls now. I think there might be even two of them over there. Well, there's at least just one now. Oh, no, there's definitely two. There's definitely two. Okay. A couple war riders out there taking some of our cavalry for a run. Okay, the trolls are dead. So now I think it's just the cavalry. So I don't think their um, allies jumped in on this fight. But I think as soon as we exit this fight, our friendlies are going to go over those bigger groups as well. Uh, we only lost one, looks like. Thank you for coming. I'm happy to help. Ah, their leader escaped. Bummer. All right, so what happens next? Apparently that happens next. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you guys are going to join in? We're not going to have a big mosh pit? Oh, hey, our forces now have a strong faction strength. We'd like to see it. Let's take out this little group right here. 68 to 46. Yeah, let's do it. Just have everyone charge for now. We might reshuffle some of that, but we'll see. Blew up that guy's now. I didn't have to hit him now. Hey, now. Get off of me. What are you doing? Go away. I actually got the rider there. Interesting. Pretty generous hitbox.
Okay, let's kill. I definitely missed. Yeah, but most of the guys we've had go down are just uh, getting wounded. They're not actually dying, which I like. Done. I got this. All right, only one wounded. Love it, love it. And we got some prisoners. I think we have to take four prisoners for a quest that we have. And we actually don't have any room. I was gonna say let's do some, uh, let's harvest some units here, but we are full. Add all these guys up to Rider. You guys can all go swordsmen. Uh, Levy, I'm gonna turn you guys all into watchmen. Youth, you guys are all squire. Nice. So we're going to turn. We're going to have a lot of cavalry when some of these guys get ranked up all the way. That'll be good. Um, all right, everybody. That is going to do it for episode three. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way you can catch uh, episodes four and beyond when they come out. We're trying to do about once a week. This one's a few days late just because I had some IRL stuff. Um, but make sure you guys do all that so that way you can catch and not miss anything. We're also streaming on Twitch under the same name. You'll find the links below. Uh, a Bannerlord playthrough in the Game of Thrones overhaul called A Realm of Thrones. And we're playing a House Tully playthrough there, and that's going really, really well. We're having some interesting wars with the Lannisters, and we're totally kicking ass. It's been a lot of fun. I'd love to see you guys come hang out. Come tell me if you come to the Twitch channel. Come tell me, uh, hey, I'm here from YouTube. I'd love to hear it. So we do that on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, evening times, uh, Central U.S. Saturdays start midday to about dinner time or so. Um, uh, in Central U.S. as well. So love to see you guys there. And without further ado, I will see you guys in Episode 4. Peace out.